Hello, Maria. Magdalena. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> good. It's good to see you again. Es un placer volverla a ver. Thank you, teacher. Uh, All right. Very good. Are you in your car right now? Uh, no, um, uh, impertence, Chris, Chris is impertensiva. Huh? What is it? Um, Chris is impertensiva. So, so you were sick? Estaba enferma? Sí. sí. Yes. All right. Are you better now? Está mejor ahorita? Um, Yes, uh, I am in the better. I'll be working ahorita. Voy saliendo del, okay. del trabajo. Okay, uh -huh. good. Nice. Uh, Welcome back, Magdalena. Thank Bienvenida you. de regreso. All right, everybody. Welcome Gracias. back. Sure, no problem. How was your weekend class? Did you have a nice weekend? Christian, Helen, Maria, Magdalena, Ronald. Very good, good teacher. Good night. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Helen, you're working graveyard today. I am. Okay, you finish tomorrow at 7 a.m. Yeah, a little. No, today at 8, 11 p.m. Oh, so you go home today? Uh, yes. Yes. All right. Thanks, God. I'm Good. going to sleep in my bed. <laughs> Good. Nice. Yes. Nice. All right. Good. So, welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you again. What is today's date? What's today's date? Monday. Monday. Monday what? Monday. Monday. 24th. Monday 24th. Which month? August. August 24th. In the year? 2020. Yes, 2020. All right, good. Welcome back, everybody. Um, let's talk about the topics we covered last Friday. Do you remember the topics we spoke about last Friday? Do you remember the topics? Uh, first, we learn uh, some vocabulary. Good. Vocabulary Ex related exam. with what, Ronald? Uh, related with cook? Yes. I think. Sure. For example, table, cloth, fried egg, scrambled egg, and boiled egg. Okay, boiled. Yes. Boiled. So, uh, tablecloth, scrambled, fried, boiled, boiled. and half boiled. So, um, yes. we're talking about presentations of eggs. When you go to a cafeteria, you go to a restaurant, or when you're telling someone in your house how you, guy, how you want your eggs to be prepared, you tell them, I want some scrambled eggs. I want fried eggs, and so on. Very good. Um, 
what else did we talk about? What were the other topics, class? We make a, a review about comparatives. Right. We also had a review about comparatives. Remember, we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives and they are compared differently. When you're talking about short adjectives, you need to include ER at the end. Small, smaller, cheap, cheaper, large, larger. If the um, adjective has two syllables or more, you're supposed to say more beautiful, more expensive, more exciting, and so on. Very good. Um, anything else about um, Friday? Any other topics? Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Um, uh, very fine, thanks. Good, and Christian. So we are talking about uh, about what is what about what we did last class about what we did on what Friday. Did yeah. Yes. Did yes. Do did you remember did. the topics, Christian? Or anybody else in the class? Christian Alexander, Maria. What were the topics? So Ronald said, uh, we had a review about comparatives. We had five new words. Do you remember the other topics that we covered? Mm-hmm. We talked about daily schedule. Yes, we spoke about daily schedules. Yes, exactly. Is your daily schedule the same every day or does it change? Do you do exactly the same activities every day or do you do different things each day? Maria? Maria, is, yes, your, is your schedule the same every day or does it change? My daily schedule is uh, change. It's, it's different every day. Yes, it's different every day. Okay, all right. Yes. And Christian Alexander, do you have the same schedule or is it different? Is uh, different. It's different every day. And yes. Okay. What about you, Christian Omar? Do you have the same schedule or is it different? No, in my case, in my case, is different. Okay. So you do different activities each day. Exactly. Monday, um, some activities. Saturday, other. Okay. Wednesday, other. All right. Okay, good, good. Okay, so um, any questions or comments about what we did last class? Ladies and gentlemen? No? Okay, so, no. all right. So I will assign you to work in pairs talk about the different activities you guys did on the weekend. Remember, um, how many tenses do we have in English? How many tenses? Present, past, and future. Okay, no. but how many do we have all together? It says, how many tenses are there in English? How many tenses? Let's see. Are there in English? Who has the answer for that question? 
How many tenses are there in English? Who remembers? The answer is? Six, six tenses. 12 tenses. 12. 12 tenses. Can you mention some of the names of those 12 tenses? Can you mention the names? Simple present, simple past, future, blah, blah, simple blah, blah. Simple present, simple past, simple, simple future, uh -huh. past continuous. Good. And, present and perfect. Present perfect. Present continuous, present perfect. Uh-huh. Past participle. Okay, past, past participle past. is the form of the verb. So when you're talking ah, okay. about the 12 tenses, you always include a verb. The verb comes in different forms, sometimes base form, sometimes ing, sometimes in past tense, and sometimes in past, uh, past participles. So it's only the form of the verb. So at the end, in English, we have 12 tenses. Now, some tenses are more common than others. And one of those tenses is the simple past. When you use the simple past, you have to be careful when you pronounce ed. Because you say played, worked, painted, cleaned, and, and, and all that. So I will assign you to work in pairs and you will discuss the following question. How was your weekend? Hello, Fernando. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, very good, teacher. All right, good. Better than Friday? Okay. <laughs> Better than Friday? On Friday, teacher. Uh, so, so, teacher. My grandmother got sick. Yes, I remember you sent a message. Yes. Is she better? Yes. Is she yes. better? All right, good. Okay, um, so let me assign you to, yes, ask me. Coralia. Uh, sorry, I yes. have a question. Coralia is back. Yes. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Coralia. <laughs> yes, Ronald, what is the question? Uh, how, how, I, how did I say uh, más o menos in English? What is the regular form? In, okay. In the, Kind of. You see the chat? Kind of. Kind of. Ah, yes. kind, of. kind of. Kind of. Más o menos. The, kind of. the expression more or less, that is a Salvadorian, not Salvadorian, but that's a Latin American expression. We say, más o menos. Uh -huh. Más o menos. Is it más or is it menos? You're not saying anything, you know? Uh, so in English you say, is, is your uh, grandmother better? Kind of, kind of. The informal kind way of. is kinda. They, kinda. Have exactly, they have exactly the same meaning. Kind of, kind of. or you say kinda, kind of. Yes. Kinda. Yes. Coralia is your grand. Who was it? Kind of, kind of means más o menos. My mother. It, it she was your mother. Fell. Was your she fell. Um, she fell. She fell. 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 She fell and she broke her arm. Okay. And. Yes, um, in my does, house is a lot of things to do. <laughs> I imagine. Does she have a cast? Yes. A cast? Uh huh. Does anybody know the meaning of cast? Yes. Yes, so, uh huh. Does uh, she have a cast? I mean, I mean, it's a kind of protection uh -huh. for her. Okay, yes. but, but it's yes, not exactly a cast. Uh, Similar. 
es Jesus. Yeah, cast. Cast. Yes, yes, it's a cast. She, she has a cast. She has a cast. She has a cast. Left arm or right arm? Left arm. Left, Left arm. arm. Okay. Yeah. All yes. All right. Yes. So but she's better. Okay, very good. She's adapting now. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Yes. I hope she recovers soon. Yes, me too. Very all right. Thank you. All right. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Okay, so let me assign you so you guys can work in pairs and talk about the different things you guys did on on the weekend. So let me create rooms. Add a room. Uh, six. Six. And move to room four. All right, here we go. Talk about your weekend. Hello, Sofia. Can you hear me, Sofia? Yes. How are you today? Fine. Good. You? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Oh. How was your weekend? Fine. Uh, busy, but fine. Did you work? No. No. No, but no. So you but were in your I, house. Uh huh. Yes, I I do many many things in my in my house. Okay. Yes. Good. You work for Biduk, you said, or Bidri? Bidri. Bidri. Okay. Bidri. Good. All right. Yes. Good. Okay. So let me assign you to. Room two, here we go. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. No porque los tenía, sino porque los necesitaba. I don't know how to ah, say. Ah, okay. Not because Did I prefer... had it. Not because I had it. But I needed it. But I needed it, yes. uh -huh. okay. All Not right. because I had it. All right. And um, only that, being at home, I don't go okay. out these days. How, how is your sister, <laughs> Helen? Stay at home. How is your sister? Very good. How's the baby? Very good. Oh, it's so it's gorgeous. Good. Is she it's in the hospital and... or is she back in the house? No, it, she's in the house right now. Good. Uh, she came home on uh, Saturday. Uh, she had so, a baby girl. Baby boy. A baby boy. All right, good. Baby boy, yes. All right, congratulations. No. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Hello, hello. 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 Let's see. Ronald and Sophia. Who was your partner, Ronald? Uh, Anna Araceli. I think. Mm. No. No. Okay. Me... Yeah, it only appeared Anna, but oh. I I don't know if it's Anna. Ah, yeah. Araceli. Yeah, but but didn't respond. Okay, when maybe. I talk. Yeah, maybe she's having a uh, connection issues. Okay. Maybe. Okay, I have Sophia so you guys can practice. Okay. All right. 
the, no, no remember. Don't remember. Teacher, teacher. Yes, sir. How do you say diablo? Devil. Oh, devil. Yeah. Devil. What happens okay. with the devil? Devil. <laughs> I I um, told the uh, Fernando. Uh huh. Uh, about I. I see in my weekend a uh, uh, Lucifer series. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. A series that you are watching, teacher. <laughs> okay. You know, I had a problem because um, uh, for the past five years, I had Claro internet. But uh, about two months ago, I changed to Tigo. But last week, mm -hmm. we didn't have electricity at home for like one hour. So the TV <laughs> needs to be reset. And I don't have the control, so I don't have access to Netflix right now. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So I have to, I have to wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But Netflix has some good, good options. Peter, the, the, the yes. internet, the internet... Yeah. The yeah. claro is better. Uh, I think so. For, for, okay. For my house? Uh, yes, teacher. Yeah, in, in <laughs> Lourdes, I think it's the same story. But the problem is that in the place where I live, Claro only offers five megabytes. And I needed something more powerful. I needed something better. And only Tigo has 10 megabytes in this area. <laughs> so, so I had to change. That's why. Yes, teacher. The offer is better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yes. so that's why I changed. Yep. Okay. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> this is when are we going to finish? Next this week. week. Next week. Uh, oh, next what's week. what's today? Twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. Hmm. Yes, twenty fourth. Yeah, today is the twenty fourth. Let me check because I received a message. Huh. No, I think it's going to be next week. But let me check. Let me check. Uh, oh. Let's see, where is she? Where is she? Right here. Ha, ha, ha. Give me a second. Yeah, next week. Next week. Next week, okay. Yes. Yes, I am so worried because I don't assist their three last class and I think that week is the finish of the course, but... No, we, we finish next week. No. Next week. Okay. Now, you, you, have, you, you, you have to be careful with your attendance because three yeah. absences... You are like near the border of of putting your name in red, so you you don't want your name to be in red. So be careful with your. Yes. Uh, they call me. They call me uh, and uh -huh. talk about that. Yes. Yes. They told me that if I I have if I have an out, another. Absent? Uh huh. Yes, I will be in red. <laughs> yes. So try not to be absent anymore. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right. I'll talk to you. Later. I try. It. All I'm right. gonna try. Oh, perdón. Uh, hello, hello. No, no. Hello, teacher. Hello. So, how was your weekend, Christian? Um, um, on Saturday, day off, my day off. Mm. So you say Saturday was, was my day off. 
Saturday was, was my, day, my off. day off. Right. Was okay. my day off. Okay. Exactly. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Um, watch TV and movie. Um, watch uh, in the car. Oh, when well, watch uh, the car. Yeah, watch the car. Um, watch the car. Uh, I play. Uh, I play uh, with friends. PlayStation. Uh huh. All day. All right. Mm, yes. Okay, and you, Magdalena? On um, Sunday. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, Christian. Uh, no, on Sunday, uh, work. I work uh, all day. All, all day. day. Okay. Did you work from yes. your house or did you go to the office? A home office. Yes. Home office. Home office. All right. Good. Yes. All right. And you, Magdalena? Uh, 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 Monday to Friday. Friday, uh, uh huh. Uh, um, my Aguis head and um, uh, first the, the first the, the Saturday. Um, today, every day, um, watch TV, the movie, uh -huh. uh, with my son, okay. uh, with my family, uh -huh. uh, so you did different uh, activities. Uh, you have different activities. No, What is it? No. All right. My um, I was in poor health. because I um, sleep or acostada, no sé. Laying down. Laying down. Laying. Laying down. Uh, laying down. Laying down. Okay. Laying down. Laying down. Exactly. All right. Good. Okay. Laying down. Tuvieron que que cambiarlo. Entonces ellos yeah. reservan según la fecha nueva de viaje oh. que les programa la aerolínea. Entonces se ven como obligados. Están como obligados a viajar y ocuparlo para no perder su dinero. That is. Mm -hmm. What are you talking Entonces, about? That would be difficult. Hello, teacher. What, what are you talking about? When, when um, clients make the, the reservation. Cameron, uh -huh. Exactly. I, I say to Helen. to Helen that the camera has um, some days full. Okay. For the future. for example, uh, twenty September September twenty fifth. Uh huh. It it's full in the in the, in this moment. Okay. September twenty fifth. Helen say fifth exactly. Okay. And Helen say the she 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 knows. Why the people are are thinking in to go to the beach in this moment for the quarantine for pandemic, and I I try to explain that some people before quarantine before pandemic um, buy, buy to ticket exactly uh, for the quarantine the ticket was. Uh, danger cancel cancel right cancel right. is cancel and the um, aerolines how do airlines. you say aerolines airlines 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 um, 
moved the the the, the travel dates. for the day for exactly for different days and that people is are obligate or están obligados they are forced uh, they are forced to take to to take a reservation right or they lose the money they are they, exactly but you run they lose the money okay so you don't refund uh-huh you don't offer refunds uh christian in that moment no the not uh, with these circumstances in in this moment no the camera no doesn't give refunds no está pro, doesn't give reason refunds okay refunds. but yeah, what about if if i have a reservation during the quarantine i can change to another month of i lose the reservation the money and all no move the, the other day but, okay, okay. But who chooses the date? Is it the client or the camera? No, the client. The client. Okay. The client. The client chooses the date. How do you say por lo menos? At least. <laughs> at least. Okay, at, at least. Yeah, at least. Well, that is mm -hmm. so soon all the businesses will have a lot of visitors because of the situation. Christian is explaining, you know, like, okay, either you, you use it or you lose your money. So. You lose your yeah. money. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, teacher. All Bye, right. Christian. Bye, Helen. For now. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. All right. Any questions or comments about uh, about what you guys did on the weekend? No. No questions. No comments. All right. So now it's time to change activity. You guys will continue speaking uh, today. Uh, there is one section where we're going to be talking about credit cards. Um, what is the concept that you guys have about credit cards? What is your opinion about credit cards? Anybody? Are they good? Are they bad? You Are have to awesome? be. Yes, Helen. I think that Credit cards are good if you use it in the right way. Uh huh. Good. If thing. so, if, not if, to buy too much, too many things. Okay, so if you're a good administrator, when you don't have the money. Okay. All right. Another opinion. It's good to have it. Okay. Yes, uh, Samuel. I. Uh... Go ahead, Coralia. No, I think Samuel is talking. No, no, no. Uh, go ahead. I was just trying to to move uh, to touch another thing. So I was... he was playing with the computer. Ah, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, I, I estoy. I agree with Helen. Uh -huh. When you know how to use it, it's ca. It's it can a uh, good a good option una buena, a good option a good a good herramienta I think, a good for tool. your financial okay a good tool all for right your good. financial good I mean. someone else another opinion about credit cards someone else someone else one more opinion fernando what is your opinion about credit cards Okay, teacher. It's a good option. At the moment, it's more recommendation, not that, not that too money, not that too much money, teacher. Okay. So, uh, 
you think that credit cards is a good option not to touch money? Yes. Okay. All right. So let me. Let, yes. Nothing. Helen? Nothing. Nothing. I was reading something. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So don't worry. Um, so let me share these questions with you. Ha ha ha. Let me see this. All right, share, share. Okay, do you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, so there are 10 questions that you guys are supposed to answer. Let's see, um, group 18, where's group 18? Group 18, group 18, right here. Okay, how many credit cards do you have? What do you like most about credit cards? So, we have two options. Either you can uh, use the screen, hold on. Use the screen. Give me, okay, thank you. Nice. Okay, so there you have the, the images. Let me make the groups. So, let me make changes. I will have exchange with her, exchange with her, move to here, exchange with him, exchange with her, Hold on. Exchange with her. Room five. Here. Here. I got four people here. So the two of them will go to room seven. Move to room seven. Move to room seven. So we got, aha. Uh -huh. Move to room five. All right, here we go, people. Hey. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi. How was Hi. your How was your weekend? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing okay. <laughs> Happy to see you again. Oh, man. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you how, so much. Teacher. Yes. Louis, how was your weekend? Um, I'm very hard, hard teacher. Uh, I work. <laughs> you worked. Okay. Did you yes. work Saturday and Sunday? Saturday, Sunday, I had a, um, how you say, diplomado and impuesto. <laughs> you have a taxes diploma. Taxes? Yes, I had a taxes. 
How That's many how many how many hours was this uh, diploma? Five hours. Five hours. Science. Yes, sir. Online. Online in Zoom. Okay. Good. Good. All right. For, for credit card. You have for credit card. Yes. But I don't use it. Okay. I so. I use one because I have uh, the supermarket and you, that credit card. I have benefits if I pay with that credit card. But the other ones I I don't use it. And then where you have it? What? Why you have three more if you don't use it? Oh, because I have two that are for the the vivienda bank and my work there. So uh, once she told me that, oh, I need to complete my... I, how do you say meta? Goal. Goal, objective. My goal. Uh -huh. So I help her to to get her goal. For that okay. reason, I have two credit cards. <laughs> okay. Yes. Just for help your friend? Yes. Uh, okay. And what do you like more about have a credit card? Uh... As I told you, I, I just use Benefit. one. Yeah, because, uh, for example, I have with America Central and that credit card are uh, the Walmart. And I buy uh, the things and I pay with that and they give me the 9% of phones. And that, and then I can change that for other things because I, for example, if I have five pounds, uh, are five dollars less okay. than I have to pay. Okay, you you can save money with that point. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, I have. For example, 25 pounds. Hello, hello. Sure. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question. Yes, ask uh, me. Uh, how do you say in English, uh, estado de cuenta? Estado de cuenta, balance. Ajá, uh -huh. ajá. Balance. Balance. Uh, balance. Balance. Yes. So you go to a, 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 you go to the bank, and you tell the person, "I want to know my balance of the account." Okay. And you use the same word if you're talking about uh, something in your work, uh, in the university, uh, your personal credit account, so. You say balance. Okay. All right. Credit card. Um, for for that kind of of supermarket. Um, exactly. Supermarket, exactly. For supermarket, and you obtain different discount. Exactly. Yes. <clears throat> Okay. But if you don't need it, the other don't question, get it. In, in the <laughs> moment, no, I, I, I have a, a bad experience with credit card. Really? <laughs> That's yeah, bad. In, in the past, <laughs> I... What <laughs> happened to you? Uh, if we can pull, know. Pull the credit card, <laughs> no. Tope la tarjeta, how do you say? Topar la tarjeta, or pull I, credit I, card. I, I, I used the credit card uh, to the maximum. Maximum, maximum and 
and more. So you hit the, the limit. Maximum and more. Oh, and maximum more. and more. <laughs> and more, you, and more you maximum a, and more. <laughs> you had a extra financiamiento. <laughs> extra financiamiento. All, all. Oh my yeah, God. I, I had a, a bad, bad experience with credit card. Yeah. yeah Teacher, like, how do you say intereses? Interest. Sorry. Interest. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes when you have credit cards, you know, uh, it's not what you spend, but the interest that you have to pay, you know, so. And like you, exactly. guys, you, you guys were saying, you know, you have to be a good administrator with credit cards. Yep. Helen has seven credit cards. Really? She is uh, she is uh, the, the best administrator. I am. I am. <laughs> and, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> because good. I don't pay any interest. interest. Okay. I good. don't pay. And, and do you really have <laughs> seven credit cards, uh, uh, Helen? Is I have seven, but I include the Credit Simana and Prisma Moda. Okay. For, for that's, yeah, that's credit. Yeah, so that's I have. Credit. So you're a very yes. disciplined so person have. with your finances. Nice. Exactly. I pay it when is the day the date. Okay. Do you say the corte? The due date. The due date. The due date. Thank you. Uh -huh. The due date. I pay before the due date. Okay. Always. All right. Good. Yes. Baby. Ah, yes. I agree with that. The... Hello, Hi, hello. Teacher. Wendy, how are you? Fine, teacher. So tired, but I'm ah. here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How was your weekend, Wendy? It was really relaxing. Uh -huh. I didn't work. Oh, you didn't work on the weekend? Say, no, I don't want to work. <laughs> I had a, <laughs> I had an, an all week I was stressful and I only connect one hour uh -huh. on Saturday then some emails and after that I turn off my computer and I be stayed at home and watch Netflix and I get asleep. Good so you disconnected yourself from uh, uh, um, from work? Yes uh, just like the computer, I have to check all the WhatsApp business. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Good to see you. No. Hello. No. <laughs> Just on time. <laughs> yeah. I am here. Hi, teacher. How are you? Did you finish all the questions? I am. No? Yes, teacher. Yes, we Okay. Do you have any questions or comments? Mm, uh, no. What no, is, teacher. What is What is your opinion about credit cards? Are they good? Are they bad? What's your opinion? It depends that the way you use it. Okay. It depends on the way that you use it. Exactly. What about you? Yes, I think the same, teacher. Uh huh. I think the same. Okay, so you need to be a good administrator. You need to be yeah. a good administrator. <laughs> yes. What yeah. happens if you're not a good administrator? What's the result? You uh, will get a deal. You get debts. 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 Yes. You get debts. Yes. And nobody likes to have debts, especially with credit cards. You this like you are in debt with me. Uh huh. Yeah, debts exactly. It's the same word. And mm -hmm. so you say debts. Okay. So let's. Okay. 
speak uh, two more minutes and then we go to the main session. Do credit cards make you buy you more? more? Make you more buy more things. <laughs> um, uh, when when you think in a irresponsible way, you think, oh, I have a a lot of more a lot of money. We can spend spend it spend in some some little uh, details, but. After you have to pay that that little things uh, or little details that you can you want, in in that case, I done I I think is the way you think about the credit card that make boy uh, more things. I think. Yes, I think. Uh, I don't see the money, um, spending, I spend <laughs> all, uh, all things. <laughs> yes, but teacher, I have yes. an, a question. Yes, ask how me. Do you say, yes. How do you say, um, in case, ticket, when I uh, pay to the cashier, when cash, they ah. give me or they return me, they change. But how do you say change? It's correct. Yeah, change is good. Have another yeah. Change word. is good. Yes. Change is good. Yes. Okay. So, for example, if you are paying $10, but you're giving a $20 bill, you receive $10 change. Change is the correct word. $10 change. Yes. Change. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. Good. All right, welcome back. So let me... So I heard that some of you guys have five four six seven credit cards and oh, that goodness. speaks that speaks good for for those people you know like you're disciplined you're a good administrator okay now what is your favorite part about credit cards is there anything that you like about credit cards i think that you, when you hear about credit cards eh, eh, the credit card always is related with promotions. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, in some... Uh-huh. Go ahead. And maybe, <laughs> could be a, maybe could be a good way if you are a, a smart... You are... Is, could be better if... No. In that case, it's a good idea, but you must be a smart person. Right, right. Yes, uh, if, like you said, if you're a smart person, if you're a good administrator, credit card can give you benefits. Uh, let's say you go to whatever store and you ask for a computer, you say, how much is that computer? They said $400. But if you have this particular credit card, we give you a discount, you know? so. That that's a uh, if if but just because they're giving you a discount doesn't mean that you need to buy the the item. So you have to analyze and see a clear difference between need and want. Okay. Uh, <laughs> question number three: What is something you don't like about credit cards? Somebody interest. Anybody? Interest. Yes. So they give you the plastic thing, but for you to use that plastic thing, you have to pay interest. You have to pay interest. Okay. Do you think credit cards are better than cash? Anybody? Do you think credit yes. cards are better than cash? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Yes. 
All right. Yeah, sometimes. Uh huh. No, oh, yes, and sometimes it's very good because because when you need to pay something, um, you need to online. pay uh -huh, online, or you need pay something very fast. You only take your take your your credit card and, and say to the cashier, take it. Okay, <laughs> good. Take good. it to money. Yeah, but or, uh, you may you you may to to <laughs> to pay that money. I think. Right, right. Yeah, uh, Omar, you said something, Christian Omar. Um, so it's a good option for an emer emergency. Yeah, it's good for emergencies. It's good for emergencies. Yes. Now, credit cards can be better oh, than see. cash. Because sometimes there are uh, certain banks that they said 20% off if you pay mm. with this credit card. So if you have the credit card, then you pay less. If not, you pay normal. Okay. Uh, do credit cards make you buy more things? Where do you think you spend more, credit cards or cash? class where do you spend more credit cards or cash credit cards okay credit cards okay do you think credit cards will replace cash one day what is your opinion it could be could be could be Okay, what about the people that don't trust banks and they don't have a credit card? Do you think that could be possible? Mm -hmm. Yes, no, maybe. No. Okay, in the, in the last question, what do you think of the interest charges on credit cards? What is your opinion about interest? Is it normal? Is it fair? Is it good? What is your opinion? It's high. It's, it's high. high. Okay. How much is the interest? <laughs> the average? Mm, in Depends some... the credit card. Mm -hmm. okay. The, the okay. basic credit cards is the the highest interest. Okay. How do you say promedio in English? Average. Average. Yes. So what is the average, average. of interest in credit cards? Okay. Eight percent. Eight percent. Okay. All right. So um mm -hmm. Any questions about this discussion? I have a question in the of the question of number ten. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it try to say. Uh, receive the envelope, envelope containing envelope. Yes. Containing envelope. Your credit card bill. Like, what, what is that? It's like I think. Uh, when you see the credit card, the credit card is come in into a small sobre. <laughs> envelope. Envelope. Yes. It's small envelope. Yeah, envelope is, uh, how do you say cartas in English? Letter. 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 So an envelope is something that you use when you, um, Something that you use to put the, the letter inside. Le, let me show you. Okay, sobre. Yes. So you see, envelope. Okay. Image. Right there. Do you see the, the image? Yes. Okay, so that's an envelope. Envelope. Okay, thank you, Coralia. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, have you heard the expression 
regalo de sobre? Yes. What, what do they expect from you? That they give money inside money. of the envelope. Exactly. So <laughs> when they open the envelope, they expect to see money. Yes. They want you to pay for the celebration and everything. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's take attendance. Um, Teacher? Sophie, yes? Yes, I have a question. How do yes. you say uh, mega mías o los puntos que, que le dan cuando se usa? Points. La you can say points or you points. can say miles. Let me let me write it for oh, you. Yes. You can say yes, point or uh, miles. points or miles. Thank you. Yes, and you're with, welcome. What is the word for, uh, for example, uh, record creativity? I don't know. Uh, your record history. Your record. Ah, record history. Yeah, no, no, your, yeah, your, your credit history. Your credit history. Credit history. Yeah, credit history. So imagine that I go apply in a bank. How do you say prestamo in English? Loan. 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 Very good. You ask for a loan and they said, okay, Francisco, we receive all your documents, but we're going to check your credit history. And they check your name. Yes. All right. Okay. Any other questions, class? No. Okay, so let me take mm. attendance. Uh, Sophia Stephanie. Present. Okay. Today is the 24th. Okay, uh, Fernando Arturo. Present teacher. Very good. Coralia. Present teacher. Okay. Ronald Humberto. Present. Okay, Katia Marcela, Marcela, Present. Marcela, okay, uh, Jimmy Rodriguez, Present. very good, uh, Christian Alexander, Present. good, Josué Edgardo, Josué Edgardo, okay, absent. Uh, Jimena Alexandra, she's absent. Samuel. Present. Okay, very good. Rocío. Okay, Mercy Carolina. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Ana Araceli. I think Araceli is having connection problems. Uh, Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Helen Lopez. Here. Okay. Luis Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, okay. Stephanie Montano. Okay. Uh, Christian Omar. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Present teacher. And Magdalena. Present teacher. Magdalena is back. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Um, any questions so far? So remember, you guys need to do the, the homework in the platform. And you also have to take the midterm exam so your scores are recorded. So you prevent any uh, misunderstandings at the end of the course. So please finish. Uh, uh, the homework and the midterm exam. All right, so let's go here. Uh -huh. 
Sitting book one, we are on page 25. Page 25. Give me a second. Do you have your books on page 25? Yes. Yes. Okay, we, this is page 18, 21, 22, 24, and 25. Okay, can you see the image? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to read sí, the I'm going to read the conversation mm -hmm. one time. So pay attention to the pronunciation and let me know if you have any um, meaning, any questions about the meaning of the words. It says, "Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny." All right. You have to start covering for Gladys at, as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can start, you can, at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Any questions there? Yeah. Any questions or comments about pronunciation or meaning of the word? Uh, the meaning of the word covering is like uh, if you have the tone of someone else. Uh, what is the word, uh, Samuel? Covering. Oh, covering. Yes. So, for example, if I am absent tomorrow, they have to get a substitute teacher to cover me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, any other questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, the difference between a hostess and host is it, 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 the host is male, the hostess is female. Exactly. Exactly. That is the only difference, yes. Mm -hmm. How do you say host in Spanish? Anfitrión. Yes. So in this case, when they say uh, hostess right here, they're making reference to a woman, hostess. Anfitrión. Anfitriona. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Any questions here, class? No? No. Okay, so you guys will practice part two, but you will do part three as well. So let me take a picture of part three. Or you can take a screenshot. Well, you already have the book anyways. So look at number one, uh, match the names of the staff members to the right descriptions. Executive chef, server, host or hostess, kitchen manager, and cashier. Are there any questions with these five terms? No. The pronunciation for the one? Uh, executive chef. Exec ex executive. Ex executive. Executive. If you want to sound British, you will say executive. If you want to sound American, you will say executive. Yes. Okay, thanks. All right. Now, if you analyze the descriptions, the person handling payments in a restaurant, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen stuff and food standards, a person who hires stuff, 
purchases food and make sure everyone is trained. A waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink and a person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them. Okay, um, any questions about this definition, about these concepts? Any questions? It is an executive chef. Okay, what is an executive chef? Anybody? A person, no. A person is char in charge of creating menus. Uh -huh. Managing, managing kitchen staff and food standards. Exactly. So uh, when you say executive chef, you're talking about someone that is not only a chef, but this person also makes decisions related with the kitchen. Yes. So it's the person in charge. Yes, it's the person in charge of creating okay. menus and, and so on. Anybody else has any other questions before you guys start doing parts two and three? So I will assign you to work in pairs. Mm -hmm. First, you guys practice conversation two, and then you guys write the answers for part three. So let me do this here. So I will move this person to room three, go to room three, move to room four, move to room four, and she will go to room eight. She will go to room eight. He will go to room five. And we'll exchange with him. Exchange with her. Okay, so let me see how the pairs were made. Aha, uh -huh. Fernando. All right, so here we go. for today, Jenny. All right. <laughs> you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. 
and then you can go to lunch, uh, but you have to be who who is arriving guest. Uh, second is uh, teacher. Yes, sir. Teacher, I I have a question for the yes. first. Okay. Executive executive chef. Yes. Uh, that person, the executive chef, cook. Uh, if it's necessary, he will cook. So it's a person okay. that is a chef, but also he or she makes decisions about creating the menu, uh, everything related with the kitchen, the executive chef is in charge. Oh, okay. Yes. I think it's a person that drives to the other to what they have to do. Right. So he's the boss of the kitchen area. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Number three is a, a person who is a staff person. I make sure. Okay. Manager. manager, okay, and the four. And hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank good, you. Good, good. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. You guys finished? Hi, teacher. I just. Yes. Um, Yes, I finished. We finished. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mercy, how was your weekend? Uh, it was good and relaxed because I I didn't do anything. <laughs> so you stayed in your house? Yes, but I have to work on Saturday in the morning. Okay. Uh, home office or did you have to go in person? In person. In person, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but you know, like when you work uh, Saturday morning, you know, that's a short day. So it's uh, better than weekdays. Yes, it's better. <laughs> yeah, because half a day is half a day. Yes. Okay, so let's see this here. All right, we almost go. Then, then it's easier to understand the context. Okay. 
You guys finish? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Fernando told me, no, that is a, that it was a piece of cake, he said. So he wants a, a, a class that is more difficult. Yeah, it's a walk in the park. Okay. <laughs> a, walk in the, a walk in the park. Uh, I like that expression. <laughs> <laughs> so, piece of cake topic for Fernando. Yeah. All right, good. I'm glad to hear uh, the platinum doesn't give you some allergy. Thanks, God, but I love, because I love more platinum than eggs. <laughs> I eat platanos in every way. <laughs> plantain. Plantain. Uh, in English, plantain. you call it plantain. Thank you. Yeah. Plantain. Ah, it's similar to, to Spanish. Uh, yeah, in a way. Plantain. Yeah, plantain. Plantain. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, plantain is it's, it's really delicious, especially mm, it does. if they are ripe. Do you remember the meaning of the word ripe? Like, no. Ripe is the opposite of green. Ripe. Um, it's like uh, the plantain is maduro. Exactly. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, some vegetables, okay. you, you eat them green, but other vegetables yeah. or other fruits, they have to be ripe. Yeah. Uh, so I like the plantains ripe. Yes. You say, I like yeah, ripe yeah. plantains. Plantain. Okay, thank okay. you. Ripe plantain. I like ripe plantain. Yes. All right, good. So, thank you. All right. Thank Did you. you finish answering the questions? Yes. 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 All right. So let's go back to the main. Yes. Question. All right. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. I love you, princesita. 9.25. All right. Um, any questions or comments on the dialogue in part two? Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No, everything is clear. Okay, so let's go to part three. Uh, the person handling payments in a restaurant. What is the answer? Which number? What is the number answer? Five. Number Cashier. five. Cashier. Okay, a cashier. cashier. Okay, cashier. let cashier. me write something in the chat. Cashier, do you remember these differences? The difference between the cashier and the teller. What's the difference? Anybody? Hello. The cashier is the person who receives the money. Exactly. And the teller? I don't know. Okay. Anybody <laughs> else? What? The, uh, I the teller. The difference between a cashier and a teller. Teller. Okay, so Wendy says, the cashier is the person that receives money and this person gives you change in a restaurant, in a movie theater, in a department store. But the person that works in a bank is a teller. So cashier is very no. general. Cashier no. is very general. If you're talking about someone that works in a bank, then you say teller. Teller. Do you remember okay. ATM? Do you remember ATM? Yes. What's the meaning? 
I don't know. It's automatic, automatic. automatic time machine. Okay, automatic teller machine. machine. Teller. Okay, machine. Sorry, I made a mistake with the with the last word. Aromatic teller machine. Aromatic. Aromatic teller machine. Uh huh. Aromatic teller machine. Yeah. And the translation is literal. Cajero automático. So in English, when you talk about um, what is your brother's occupation? Oh, he's a teller. That means that this person is a cashier in a bank. Got it? You see the differences? Yes. Okay, what about the second one? A person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen stuff, and food standards. What's the answer? <laughs> Executive number one, chef. executive chef. Executive chef, very good. Number three says a person who hires staffs, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Who kitchen is this person? Manager. 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 Kitchen manager, very good. Do you see the word hire? What's the meaning of hire? Contratar. Uh huh. What is the opposite? Fire. Fire. Fire, exactly. So, hire and fire. And fire. So, hire means welcome to my institution. You're hiring the person. If the person doesn't do a good job, they have to make a decision to say, we have to fire this person. So, hire is when you're accepted. Fire is when they're saying goodbye to you, okay? Uh, a waiter or waitress who attends <laughs> customers with food and drink. What's the Server. name? Server. 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 And the last one, a person who greets arriving guests, welcomes no. them to the restaurant and seats them. Who is this person? Hostess. hostess. Host or hostess, yes. All right, any questions? No? Okay, if we go to part four. Part four, part four, let me see this here. No, not this one. <laughs> Where's the book, what did I do with the book? All right, we're still on page 25, page 25. 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right. So according to the exercise, we were, the dialogue, when does Jenny's shift start? What is the meaning of shift? Turn up. Turno, exactly. How many shifts uh, does a police station have or a hospital? How many shifts? Three shifts. Three shifts. What are the names of those three shifts? More? Uh, day shift, afternoon or morning shift, uh, night shift and afternoon shift. Okay, so morning shift, afternoon shift or the night shift. What is the other form to say night shift? Like Helen, she's working night shift right now. What is another form to say night shift? Graveyard. Graveyard, Graveyard. exactly. Graveyard. Now, what is the other meaning of graveyard? Tomba. Cementerio. Uh -huh. Yes. So November 1st and November 2nd, Salvadorians, they visit graveyards. They bring flowers, they bring music, they bring food to the dead. How do you That's say the day of my birthday? 
Really? <laughs> yes. Okay. How do you say Dia de los Muertos in English? Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Okay, we call it Souls Day. Dia de las Almas. Souls. Now, Memorial Day is for, for the military. You're talking about dead people uh, that lost their lives in a military conflict. Mm. So, Souls Day, when is Souls Day in El Salvador? Mm. November. November what? Second. November 2nd. In some places, uh, the celebration starts November 1st. So November 1st and November 2nd. Yes. All right. So let me... Um, where's the book? Book, book, where's the book? Right here. Okay. So when does Jenny's shift start? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? And what does Jenny have to do from one to 6 p.m. Please give complete answers to those questions. So let me send you back. This is going to be only five minutes, five minutes only. Move to here. Yes, okay. 9 a.m. Josue, welcome back. Hello. Hello. Jenny's job in the restaurant. What is Jenny? Uh, okay. I don't know where the mask. Teacher. Yes, sir. There? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, the, sec the second question is, where is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Right. So she, yeah, apparently, she has uh, many responsibilities. So how do uh, we say one of them? Or exists on a world that express, for example, uh, multi-usos? Yeah, multitask. But uh, question number two has to be, related to the conversation. So what is she going to do in the conversation? 
oh, uh, that's that's why I asked, I asked uh, because she's host, she's server, so uh, I don't know if you, if we put the both or, or no, only only uh, she will be the hostess. She is the okay. hostess because the other answer uh, is about serving. The other answer is about serving. Ah, okay. Yes. I, I think that that she's just server because she's just covering her her partner. Yes, her so. regular her regular uh, um, occupation. She's a server. Yes. Okay. All right. So we. Uh, she start covering for guys. Mm -hmm. You have a nice uh, 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 comprehension. <laughs> comprehension? Compre compre Com comprehension. Com comprehension. Comprehension. Four syllables. Comprehension. Comprehension. Yes. Comprehension. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Comprehension. Sure. Comprehension, exactly. Exactly. Right. You guys finished? Then you start at chief at 9 a.m. Not the chair. Not yet. No, the chair. Okay, all right. No. Don't worry. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, did, Hi, did, teacher. Did you answer the three questions? Complete answers? Yes, teacher. Okay. When does Jenny's yes. shift start? What is a complete answer for that one? Jenny starts from 9 to 11 a.m. Okay. So Jenny starts from 9 to 11 a.m. Okay. Uh, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Jenny is a hostess. Yes, Jenny is, a Jenny is a hostess. Very good. And the last one, what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? Jenny is server for the rest of the afternoon. Okay, yes. Jenny serves for the rest of the afternoon. Or, like Christian is saying, she serves from 1 to 6 p.m. Good, very good. Okay. Your answers are good and clear. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Did, you fin did you finish the three questions? Yes, we finished the, the question. Okay. Helen have to install some things. Okay. So what is the answer for the first one? When does Jenny's uh, shift start? Uh, the shifts start to 9 to 11 a.m. Okay, the shift starts from 9 to 11 a.m. Very good. What about number yes. two? What's Jenny's job in the restaurant? She is the hostess. Very good. And the last one, what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? Serve the rest of the afternoon. Okay, good, good. So she's a waitress. She's a waitress. Yes, for okay. the rest. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> right. So, uh, Wendy, you have, in El Salvador, we have masks, we have face shields, we have gloves, mm -hmm. and we have sanitizers, right? Yes. Everything mm -hmm. has reduced in, in terms of price. Sanitizers, yes. paper, Except the gloves. Why the gloves are more expensive? Sanitizer is not always reduce the price. Not not a good sanitizer. sanitizer. Okay. Yes. In the case for the face mask, the face shield, and the face mask KN95. Yes, they reduce uh, the price. Because in China, they produce it in a, a lot, a lot quantity. Yeah, big quantities. Yeah. Quantities. 
Okay, and the gloves doesn't reduce the price because no, we don't have many producers companies who produce one uh, gloves oh. because they have to, we have to export the gloves and we have only, no, two uh, providers in the South providers. Providers in El Salvador, so the price is so high. If you both in one box, but yes. if you both, uh, uh, maybe one hundred and one hundred fifty box, the price reduced like uh, ten ten dollars, for example. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so. You need to invest money so you can see profit yes exactly okay Entonces, no hay ahorita como que mucha variedad de guantes uh -huh. para reducir el precio costo right y la mayoría lo está acaparando eh, minsal y gobernación para las reaperturas entonces los proveedores se han quedado sin nada ahorita Okay, all right. Yeah, because gloves are very, very important. Yes, for everything you have to do. If you get out, if you visit uh, some uh, clients, or, or in my case, I, if I have to go to my dentist, the dentist use some gloves. Exactly. And for everything. Yeah, yes. okay. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. Sorry, I was given a chicken. Don't yeah. worry, uh, okay. Helen. <laughs> Thank you. We're going back. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. So when does Jenny's shift start? What is the answer? When does the shift start for Jenny? What time? 1 p.m. 1 p.m.? 9 to 11 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Okay. What about okay. number two? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Jenny is a hostess. She's a hostess. And what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? She is a server. Server. She's a server. Server. Exactly. What is another form to say server in this case? Another form to say server? Waitress. 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 Okay. What if uh, Jenny were a man? Would you say waitress? No, wait. Waiter. 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 Very good. All right. So let's go to our last activity. This is our last activity here. Let me see this here. It's right here. Okay. Do you guys see the pre-listening exercise? Yeah. Okay. So we have two expressions. But first, I need a volunteer to read the pre-listening exercise, please. Me teacher. Okay, please. What kind of food do you like to eat and make? What sink ingredients do you need to prepare these foods? Okay, so that's going to be the two questions you guys will be discussing. In the conversation, when we listen to the audio, you will hear two expressions. How do you speak <coughs> dichos in English? Say hey, what? How do you say dichos in English? You say? use Book. sayings. Mm. Sayings. You can say sayings or you can also say idioms. So idioms doesn't mean idiomas. It means dichos. So you said, um, can't stomach something. That means you don't like something. Can you mention one food that you cannot stomach? Can you mention one food you don't like? Mm, flour of isot. 
Okay, mm -hmm. they saw the flower. Okay. Yeah. Seafood. Pianes en crema. Okay. How do you say pianes in English? Squash. 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 Yeah. So you say squash and cream. Okay. So pipianes en crema, a flor de sote, a callas, and a pesca. Seafood. So, no, seafood, no. Oh, seafood is for the me, For me, no, for I... some people, it's it like. Yeah, some people don't like seafood some because people, they're allergic, because they don't like it, uh, different yeah. things. So uh, what about the expression, eat like a horse? What's the meaning of that? To eat a lot. To eat a lot. So imagine that you go to a friend's house and your friend is eating and eating and eating. Said, man, you're eating like a horse. Mm -hmm. That means that the person is very hungry. Okay. So you guys will discuss these two questions. What kinds of food do you like to eat and make? And what things or ingredients do you need to prepare these foods? So we only have 11 more minutes. Let me see this here. Uh, exchange here. Exchange here. Exchange there. Uh -huh. Move to room nine. Move to room nine. Move to room two. And I will exchange with him. All right, so here we go. Last activity for today. Are you discussing the questions? What foods do you like to That's eat and make? And what ingredients do you need? Teacher. Uh, I said teacher. Hello, I'm sorry, okay. Fernando. What was your question? Uh, the teacher, the picture on the on the two questions. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. In my case, the 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 third question, I only like to eat because I can cook, teacher. <laughs> okay, so you prefer yes. when, when when other people cook for you? Yes, teacher. It's more delicious. <laughs> That's exactly what I tell my wife. Look, I love it when you cook because I enjoy it more. You know. Yes, my food is not is not as good. Right. I don't know how to cook either. I don't know how to cook. Okay. So, Christian, do you cook? Yes. Um, kid, kid off. Huh? Do you uh, cook, me and kid off. What is it? Kid off. Kid off. Kid off. What is kid off? What is kid off? No sé, más o menos. Más o menos. Oh, kind of. Ah, perdón. Kind, kind of. of. Oh, kind of. Kind, kind of. of. All right, good. Okay. All right, nice. Okay. So, in your case, what is your favorite food? Favorite 
food, oh my God, I have a uh, three favorite foods. Uh, the number one, tacos. I love tacos. Uh, the number two, uh, carne asada. How do you say carne asada? Uh, barbecue meat. Barbecue. Or grilled. Mm. Or oh, oh, barbecue meat. And the number three is mariscada. Seafood soup? Yes, seafood soup. Yes, yeah, seafood soup. Okay, seafood soup. soup. Uh huh. Gra mm -hmm. What ingredients do you include in the seafood uh, soup? Uh, just as they uh, in my house made seafood soup, and we put uh, shrimps, uh, octopus, mm, uh, crab. Okay. Fish. Um, what else? Uh, Squidward? I don't know. Es lo mismo, cangre, camarón y calamar. Yeah, no, clams. No, no, eh, pulpo. Octopus. Clams. Octopus. Octopus. Some people okay. put cream. Right. And some people also put lobster. Ah, yes, uh -huh. lobster. But it, 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 it's expensive, so. Yeah. yeah. It's like they give you like four or five for like 10 or $11, I think. Yes. The, the little, uh, if the, the, what? Lobster. I forget the, the name of the lobster. lobster. Uh, it's small. Uh, they give you in $4, but if it's bigger, you can you can pay 20 uh, 15 bucks for yeah, for yeah one it's, of. it's expensive yes salt <laughs> salt salt uh, <laughs> milk there are, eggs there are many words i i don't know how do you say which words christian uh, for for ingredients oh for the ingredients for in, in, uh, ingredients, uh, in, in asparagus. What? Okay, asparagus. Asparagus or... What do you say? Berenjena. Berenjena. Eggplant. Eggplant. Broccoli. 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 Yes. Repollo. Cabbage. <laughs> Cabbage. <laughs> yes. Or the... Yeah. Or for example, the... The, the herbal. Uh huh. Herbal, different, different exactly. herbals. Uh, how do you say? Um, uh, cilantro. Coriander. And. and uh, Perejil. La, 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 la celery. Otra, se llama? celery. Yeah, coriander, celery, eggplant. Albahaca. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, there are different names uh, for the ingredients that people use when they're cooking. Celery, no, no, it's apio. Yeah, celery, celery, celery is apio. And which one did you ask for? Cilantro. Coriander. You can, coriander. Say, you can say coriander, and in some cases they also say cilantro. But uh, mm -hmm. coriander is the original word in English. Okay. Yeah, no, coriander. 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 Good, very good. But no, no problem, no problem if I say cilantro. You cilantro. can, but the problem is that not everybody knows what cilantro means. And that's um, why you should say coriander. Coriander. Coriander, okay. yes. Okay. All right. Um, but we they don't know. know. It, no. They don't open it? No, they don't open. Okay. okay. Yeah. What's not and open, what? Coralia? The Chinese food, China oh, food. Oh, oh. Okay. But I, I'm going to tell uh, to Wendy uh, that we found a, a place or a restaurant that make uh, such good Chinese food. Really? But I really? think, yes, I think, and we have with my family a, a, a theory, and a theory, yes, theory. Uh, a theory. Una theory. 
uh -huh. a theory we have with my family, a theory that the the chef is the from chef, China. Yes, the chef is from China work, or really? they work at China, oh. a China before. Work, because before uh -huh, they the work food is good. at China. The the good, uh -huh, it's very good, and uh, it's the it have the same flavor and the, the same, same taste. presentation, the same taste. All, all is very similar. The price <laughs> and the price and the price is yes, it's it's nice. Uh, it's nice. Is it uh, cheaper serious. than China work, or is it about the same? It's all. It's the same. Okay. It's the same. It's the same All right. Price. Yes. So, the, so the quality, the quality of the food is good. Yeah, it's very good. It's delicious. And where is the For restaurant that, in Sonsonate? We, yes, here in Sonsonate. It's it's called Hao Chi. Hao Chi. Hao Chi. Hao Chi. Hao Chi. It's, All right. It's very good. Nice. When you come to Sunset at the teacher, <laughs> you you go. Okay. Good. In, in Plaza Larista. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. I will yes. take that into account. Yes, that's very good. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to the main session. Thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you, Wendy. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, are there any questions or comments about our last conversation, about our last topic? No? No. no. Okay, no. so if there are no questions, thank you again for making the time. Uh, I just want to make sure. Uh, Josue Edgardo, are you here? Present. Okay. Uh, Jimena Alexandra? No. Uh, Rocio? No. Uh, Raceli? No. And Stephanie Montano is absent too. All right, so thank you very much. Have a good night. 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 Good